WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, March the 8th. The Dow is up 10 at 32,827, being all over the show. And what we're looking at is the high today so far, 32,953. And the low is uh, 32,678. That's a... Uh, it's not as big as yesterday, but it, it went to a lower low. This is really important that somehow this the market gets saved right here because any extension below today's lows in the Dow, the S&P, the Qs says that the, the 24th of February low is going to be tested. So this is a really important to have a rally. And what I'd said earlier on, and I'll repeat it now, is that if the VIX this afternoon is starting to trade now to 35.90, but can trade in the low 35.20 area or lower and hold it as the Dow is up. It can't just be up 80 points. The Dow has to be up about 200 points or more. The S&P has to be about 48 points higher. That would say, great, now we can have at least a couple of days of upside action. Otherwise, that's not very good. And you're looking at the S&P at this particular point. The S&P is down. Oh, it's just come back up. No, it's down 7. At 41.93, the QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle is down 80 cents at 3.24. The IWM, the Russell 2000, oh, I don't think I even mentioned that during the show. Uh, 195.56, up a dollar 87. Once again, it showed good relative strength. We've got to keep our eye on these small caps, the two, Russell 2000, because they're holding better, but they aren't breaking out. They're just holding better. Looking at gold, had a huge move to the upside. It's given back a little bit. It's still up 58 points at 2053. You're looking at the dollar, the dollar DXY, holding quite well here. It is down only 11 ticks at 99.09. Made a, a new recovery high yesterday, um, and this is going to be very important because finally it got to. Uh, let me just check that out. With 90, just under 100. Yeah, 99.42. Uh, almost at par. This is amazing. Looking at the euro, didn't you do that during my show? E U R U S D. Look at the euro. Uh, e U R U S D. Please do this nice. Oh, there it is. It plunged. Oh, look at this. There's this beautiful arch pattern. I didn't even talk about that in my show. I meant to do that. Look, testing the low of uh, back in uh, March, April of 2020. Big arch formation. Bank of America did that today, uh, yesterday, in the daily chart. It went all the way to its low, giving back all the gains. This is really an important phase for the market. So stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesavento coming up. A great program all day. Stay tuned for Larry. I'll be back a little later with Tom. Otherwise, see you tomorrow.